Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host Santos Capilla Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, uh, today what I'm going to do is the part 3 of my uh, motor control uh, tutorial. Okay, so first part is our uh, components familiarization. Then part 2 is our power diagram somewhere here. Okay, then our part 3 is our Y delta control. Okay, now before anything else, let me... Uh, tell you what are the symbols okay first we have the k1 which is our line contactor or main then k2 our y delta contactor y, i mean y contactor then k3 is our delta contactor k4 is our timer then i'm using here two relays okay r4 and r1 okay then i have here my indication lamp as you can see in my part one i tried to simulate the control okay so Y uh, indication lamp when it is running at Y, then delta when it is running at delta, then we have our trip. Okay, now we are getting our delta using the normally open contact. So 24 volts will go to the normally open contact terminal 13, then normally open contact of K3, then it will go to the indication lamp. Likewise, this one also. So we are using the normally open contact of K2Y contactor. Okay, then the trip will of course will come from the overload relay okay so let's trace it okay now actually my power control power here is combination of 220 and 24 volts as you can see i have here a control transformer 24 at uh, 220 to 24 volts step down transformer here okay now why because i have a relay okay i have a relay and indication lab which are 24 volts and two contactors the delta and y the coil is 24 volts okay now my timer is the coil is 220 and also this k1 to the contactor the coil is 220 as you can see here this one is connected to the neutral line okay now uh, let's trace so my 24 volts will come here okay so it will go to the fuse then it will go to the normally close contact of my overload okay so the terminal here i'm showing the terminal then i have my stop push button which is normally closed then i have my start push button which is normally open okay so the first time we will try to push this push button then the 24 volts flow is like this okay then 24 volts will be available also here yeah then what will happen this 24 volts relay of the the coin will be energized because 24 volts will be present here then this one is connected to zero volt then this one is will be energized then i'm using one contact here the common the line will be connected there okay then the normally open contact when this one is energized then this contact will close then 20 to 20 will uh, flow here a1 then the a2 is connected to the neutral line so this timer is energized okay then next 24 volts can come also here since this one is closed this is the timer uh, normally close and normally open contact since the timer is energized it will wait for the time delay set in the timer so it's still this one is closed okay then the k3 this one is the energized so meaning this is closed so 24 volts will come here then this one will be energized okay so energized timer energized y delta contactor i y contactor then at the same time since this is energized so this one will close so 24 volts will come here then it will energize my uh, line contactor because the common is connected to the 220 then when this is energized this one will close then it will energize this one okay so uh, line timer and y is energized then after the time delay set in our timer this normally close will open then this one will close so 24 volts when you release this the 24 volts will be passing here so this one is what we call latching contact okay so 24 volts will pass here then again it will come here so at this is also again it is uh, energized 
Then this one, after time delay will open, then this one will be the energized, this one will be the energy will open. But 24 volts will come here since this one is already closed. The first time this is energized, so 24 volts will come here. Then this one, after time delay, it will close. So 24 volts will uh, flow here. Then this K2, this one is the energized, so this one is closed. So K3 or the delta contactors is energized, okay? Now, the 24 volts can still pass here, okay? So, it will keep on energizing our line, delta, and our timer, okay? So, let's trace it again. 24 volts will come here, then we push, then 24 volts will come here, then this one will be energized, 220 will come here, then energizing our timer. At the same time, this y delta is energized, okay? Then after something, okay, then this one also, since this is energized, this one will close. So 24 volts can come or also, come, come here also, then energizing our line conductor. So line conductor, Y, and timer is energized. After the time delay, which is set there around 5 seconds, this one will open, the energizing this, opening this. But the 24 volts can still energize this because this one is already closed when the Y delta contactor is energized. So 24 volts will come here. So it will keep the line contactor energized. Okay. Now this one is closed. So 24 volts will come here. Then this one is already closed. Then this one is closed because this is the energized. Then energizing our delta. Then when L delta is energized, this one will close. So this one will light up. Okay. So in Y, uh, line 1 or meaning K1 timer and K2 are energized. Delta K1, K3 and K4 are energized. Okay? So that is how this control works. Okay? Now in your project maybe the control voltage is 220 or 24 volts. Okay? Now I'm using a combination because I need to use what are the components or the materials that I have on hand. Okay? That's why I did this combination of 220 and 24 volts. But in the project, it depends. Okay? But if you are the BMS engineer, this is not your problem. The, your task is to understand how this uh, Y-delta control works. Also for supervisor and also for uh, BMS foreman or BMS technician, it is very helpful to understand how the Y-delta control works. Okay? Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching these short video clips. And I do hope you are supporting my channel by liking, giving comments, and subscribing. So before I will end, Santos Capilian Jr. will always say, God bless us all. Let's all be safe. And bye for now.